Aloha. I'd like to talk to you about uh, hemp oil and insomnia. I have suffered from insomnia ever since I can remember, since I was a kid. Um, it's been really bad. At one point in time, I was a uh, I was uh, an ordained minister for about five years, and during that period of time, I did not have pot as a aid in my life. And I didn't realize how much it helped me with my insomnia until I was without it. And I'll tell you, my life became a living hell during that five years. So I won't go into details about how it manifested, but I'll just suffice to say, insomnia is really, really bad when you don't have a way to get out of it and you feel trapped in your own body. And the tension that goes on and the you know, the, the lack of energy that it gets greater and greater every day that you don't sleep. And I would go for four or five days without sleeping and until I was just like a zombie. It was just horrible. For five years, I was like that. Um, <clears throat> and I've always resisted going to Big Pharma. And at one point in time, before I found hemp oil, I actually just, I just got tired of dealing with it all. And I actually broke down and went to a doctor. And I knew... And once I did that, it's kind of like, you know, going to a heroin dealer, you know, and uh, enjoying heroin for your pastime because there's going to be a price you're going to pay. Um, in this case, when you start doing pharmaceutical sleep aids, uh, they, after a certain period of time, they're not going to work. And then you're going to wind up having to do different ones or do stronger doses. Well, uh, when I went to the doctor, um, I think the first thing that they prescribed me was Ambien, um, and it didn't work. Uh, I went back to call the doctor the next day and told him it didn't work, and he prescribed me Lunesta. These things are expensive, really incredibly expensive. I couldn't believe how much they were costing me, but that didn't work either. And when I called him back the next day and told him, well, this didn't work either, he thought I was trying to play him for pills and he wouldn't return my call after that. So I was on my own. And uh, I think it was kind of blessed in a way that it didn't work for me um, because I, didn't, I, I couldn't have that as an avenue. I tried and I just, I guess my insomnia is just a little bit too severe for that kind of thing. Anyway, so um, then I found hemp oil and right from the very beginning, Ooh, I was sleeping like a baby every night for uh, probably six or eight months until my body got used to it to the point where uh, it wasn't really helping me. I mean, okay, the way it is now, and, and you know, the thing was like, there was a period of time when I first moved to Kauai where I didn't have a source of it and I ran out of the amount that I had brought with me. And so I went for a couple months without hemp oil. And then when I got it again and I started taking it again, Wow, I was just right back to it's problem solved. And um, what happened was, uh, since I've had it and I've had it in my life consistently, my body's gotten used to it to the point where I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to deal with it. I'm starting to find a way to heal it um, through my own kind of meditative, just really doing everything that I can. There's a lot of books that I've read about it. Sometimes I do breathing exercises. Sometimes I do yoga. It's not perfect, but um, what I found is, is that if I don't take hemp oil and it's time for me to go to sleep, um, you know, like I, it, the only reason I would not have taken it when it's time to go to sleep um, long before it was time to go to sleep was I just plain old forgot and the thing is is uh, I can tell when I go to go to lay down to go to sleep if there's a like an anxiousness you know like the regular kind of feeling I get when it's time for me to go to sleep before I had hemp oil that feeling is back I like what's going on what you know where is this coming from and then uh, oh shoot I forgot to take my hemp oil and then I'll run in and take hemp oil pill and a couple hours later I'll be back to or an hour later, I'll be back to, you know, the, the ground zero of just being calm and relaxed and being at a place where I possibly might be able to get a good night's sleep. We'll see. But without hemp oil, it's impossible. So um, I will say for other people that have been working with me, 
Um, I don't know anybody else that has had the reaction that I have where they've gotten used to it to the point where it doesn't work for them. Everybody else that I know just, I mean, some people, it's been 10, 15, 20 years before, since they've had a good night of sleep, and they get it every night with hemp oil. So it is a miracle if you've got any kind of insomnia and anxiety, boy, it's just wonderful. So can't recommend it high enough, um, highly enough. And um, you know, like I said, it, uh, when I got to a point where I reached um, a, um, a stability of, you know, just being used to it to the point where, you know, it really takes me a lot to even feel it, um, I can even take enough to make it so that I'm really feeling it when it's time to go to bed and it really won't, really won't make a difference. I mean, it'll take away that, that edge, so I will have the ability to fall asleep, but it's still, that final healing is up to me to accomplish. And like I said, sometimes I'm making, you know, better progress than others, but um, one way or another, it's always better than if it was without hemp oil. So just wanted to put that out there and say Merry Christmas. It's uh, Christmas Eve 2011. Love to you all. Ciao, ciao.